Pompeii was a premier resort for Rome's elites. Pompeii was a prosperous city, but everything was buried under volcanic ash. What does Pompeii hide under the ash? Pompeii was located at the base of Mount Vesuvius. In 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted. Pompeii was buried under 20 feet of volcanic ash. It is assumed the eruption was on August 24, but this date may be wrong. A charcoal inscription was found in 2018. It points to the eruption happening around October or November. Another proof is the warm clothes of the buried people. Also fruits and vegetables, typical for October were found. The wine fermentation jars were sealed. The cause of Pompeii's misfortune was wind. It was blowing in a northeasterly direction. Volcanic ash flew directly over Pompeii. Usually the wind blows in the southwest direction. So the ash could have been blown over the Bay of Naples. Pliny the Younger was an eyewitness to the eruption. He was on the other side of the Bay of Naples, at Mycenaeum. He wrote about it 25 years after the event. Many people died during the eruption. Only shells remained of the bodies. Researchers filled these cavities with plaster. They got casts with bones in them. The bones were examined and syphilis was found. This changed history. It was believed the Spanish brought syphilis from America in the 1400s, but it existed in Europe more than 1,000 years earlier. Pompeii stayed untouched for almost 2,000 years. Although there were looters, they dug tunnels through the ash, looking for valuables. After all, it used to be the best Roman resort. They built private villas there. Pompeii was a sin city. About 250 adult-themed artifacts have been found. At least 25 brothels were discovered as well. The largest of them was Lupinar. Lupinar was a two-story building with 10 rooms. It has more than 150 frescoes that depict various services. In Pompeii, the goddess of love Venus was worshipped, but the Isis cult was also popular. She was the patron goddess of the sea. There was a temple of Isis. Her statues were found in more than 20 houses. Interestingly, ordinary women were also honored in Pompeii. Women held leadership positions and even owned businesses. They also inherited their husband's wealth and property. Julia Felice was one of the most powerful women in the city. She bought real estate and turned it into hotels. Pompeii was accidentally discovered in the 16th century. An underground water tunnel was being dug. The diggers found walls with paintings and mosaics. Architect Domenico Fontana studied the findings, but the city remained buried for almost 150 years. Excavations began in the late 1740s. They were ordered by the King of Naples, Charles III. Many well-preserved artifacts were found. The lack of oxygen meant they were undamaged, but after their discovery, they were threatened. Today, efforts are being made to preserve them. The World Monuments Fund included Pompeii in the Monuments Watch List, but Pompeii could be placed on the list of World Heritage in Danger.